Hello everyone. Today my video is about uh, how to create and run your ad on Google Ads. For those who don't know, Google Ads is an online advertising platform by Google through which you can advertise on Google search engine, YouTube, Gmail, Google properties and all other Google uh, AdSense partners. For instance, there are many websites who are using Google Ads to display ads on their website. And if you want to advertise on any website, all you have to do is you have to place your ad on Google Ads through which you can run your ad on those websites as well. So it's very easy. So in this video, I will tell you how to create and run your ad on Google Ads. So stay with me and let's get started with this. Okay, so the process is really easy. Okay, what you have to do is once you write Google Ads, I mean, once you write this Google Ads and uh, when you will click over here, you will be loaded to uh, Google Ads account dashboard like this. You can see this dashboard. Here you can see this. Okay, this is how a sample uh, dashboard looks like of uh, Google Ads. Although you can modify columns, you can modify anything you want to show over here. There are various rules through which you can modify your display over here. But right now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a campaign uh, so that we can run an ad in Google. Okay, but before we run an ad, make sure that your billing information is complete. This is a sample account, which is why the billing information is not complete over here. And in case if you want to uh, fix it, all you have to do is you have to fix it and they, they, <coughs> they will ask you for your username and password and then you can get started. Okay, now here's the campaign. All you have to do is when you move on to the campaigns, you have to select this create a campaign segment and you will all be up select that new campaign option. Once you select this, you will be shown around eight settings to run your campaign. Sales, leads, website traffic, product and brand consideration, brand awareness, app promotion, local stores and visit. Okay, so in case if you are going to, uh, in case if you want more leads, for instance, if you are running for a bank insurance form, we can offer this one. In, in case if you want more traffic on a website, no sales, no conversion, but just website, you can focus on website traffic a bit. And in case if you're looking for sales, just sales, no, you know, it doesn't matter. I just need sales. So then the sales option is the best one. And in case if you want to get your brand more and you want to get your brand a name more out of the world, you can offer a brand awareness and which typically it works with a display ads. Okay, so once you select the sales ad, you'll be given six options. You can run your ad on search, display, shopping, video discovery, and the last is performance max, the second option. And that is a combination of all four, uh, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, all five combined into one box and that is known as performance max campaign. Okay, so right now we're going to create a search campaign through which we can advertise on uh, Google search. And in case if we uh, select the display ad, we can run ads across the web on different websites all around the world. In case if we want to create a Google shopping ad, we can create select this. And in case if we want to uh, be reached on via YouTube, we can run this video. And in case if you want our ads to be shown on Gmail, we can select this discovery ad. Okay, so let's start with search campaign. Okay, yeah, we want more websites. For instance, if you are trying to run for my blog, Okay, so I'm going to write my blog name over here. That's it. And then I'm going to select the conversion action. Okay, conversion action is very important. And uh, uh, for uh, that, I have to uh, install a code on my website. And in case if I select the code, so I have to add this Google tag on my website between head tag so that uh, my conversions uh, are being tracked automatically. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to name it as anything I want to name. For instance, I want to name it as a Christmas campaign or any campaign. I'll, I'll, I can name it as uh, uh, Ali Raza Margaret. Okay. Continue. Okay. Now being given to the bidding options. Uh, in my separate video regarding bidding, I have explained in detail regarding all the bidding functions and you know what are the benefits of benefits of each and every bidding option. But right now we are going to select this clicks and we are going to select a maximum option of 1.22 CBC. Bid more efficient with a maximized conversions. I do not recommend uh, you to start maximized conversions at the moment. Maximized conversions are good once your campaign starts getting data around up to two, three weeks. When you have some data, you can offer maximized conversions. But 
not right now even if the system is saying it i still do not recommend it this is system you are a human come on guys so and then i will go to search and display network so i'm going to say okay what are who are the google search partners google search partners are those search partners who are using google search on their website okay so no i just want to target on google search that's it and let's say all countries and territories uh, no language issues and then just let's move on to the keywords okay these are the keywords these are on the broad match okay let's go with the broad match okay ideally in case if you're an advanced user i do not recommend going with the broad match rather i recommend to go with the phrase match or exact match but right now because uh, you're a newbie a broad match is fine for you and here's the ad and here's a simple ad they have created for my blog you know so blogging for you you know i can also pinpoint let's say in case if i just want to see this word on the first line only in position one i can select this one as well okay so all done i can also add side links call outs in case if i want to get more calls you know i'm a whatsapp guy i don't like calls okay done budget okay my daily budget they suggested me 23 dollars yeah fine 23 dollar budget for now okay my campaign is almost ready to be published okay i have selected this uh audio segments no audio segments uh i do say a segment is ideally recommended uh for uh, a display campaigns but we are running search campaign so it's fine with this and i'm going to select this publish campaign and uh, i'm okay what they are asking is to add the billing information okay which is what is missing okay Ooh, so yeah, we just created a new campaign and you know that creating a new campaign on Google Ads is as easy as ABC, but you know, to maintain your quality score, you need to work hard and you know, optimize your campaign frequently uh, to get um, more data and improve your quality score. Higher the quality score means lower the cost. So that is a game which I have explained in another video regarding quality score. You can watch out on the YouTube channel where I have discussed in detail regarding the benefits of quality score and you know, uh, what you can do uh, with high quality score and how you can reduce your cost. And you know, what are the impact of ad positions and how they can uh, impact on your sales and visitors and you know, different things. So yeah, with this, I like to say, yo, guys, I hope you like this video. And in case if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you are more than welcome to write in the comments box. I will be looking forward for your comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that is Ali Reza Marketing. I look forward for more subscriptions in case if you want to me to create a video or specific topic. Again, I will be looking forward to you. And once again, thank you and bye bye. And thanks for watching this video. Thank you.